So one of my YouTube subscribers asked me how to create a chat screen and I just actually found myself here working on a chat screen for my app. I was getting up to the point here um, where I was, uh, I have to replace this screen with an example of what it would look like um, when someone is chatting. So I'm going to basically show you how to create these, uh, these bubbles, um, how to put images and other icons inside of here, step by step. All right. So let's start by replacing the screen. The best way to do this, um, I would suggest is taking the background, um, of this particular image and you can take an image of any chat app anywhere online as an example to help you um, kind of take the elements that you see so I'm going to cut this out paste it okay and then I'm going to take the color of this background and I'm going to go back to my original layer and just fill it in all right so that's first step first so let's take um, chat and let's take call this background all right so chat so the first step is taking this this bubble okay and we want to copy it okay and let's paste it and if you don't have access to one of these you can very simply create um, your own bubble um, photoshop actually has some pretty cool custom shape tools and if you go into custom shape tools you'll find um, some chat bubbles um, in the case of this kind of bubble it, these might not be the best but what you can do is you can also do a rounded rectangular tool okay and you can basically imitate what a bubble looks like just like that okay let's take the color and bingo you already have the beginnings of what looks like a bubble right obviously it doesn't have the little arrow but you can create that and the best way i would suggest to create the 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 triangle would be to actually create a square okay and by creating a square and rasterizing that image rasterize layer you can then just kind of take the piece that you want after rotating it because you do have to rotate it to get the that how it looks there you see how see how it's already starting to look like it so you want to just kind of imitate the way that looks so it looks like i've gotten it pretty much in there Okay, and then just kind of kill the rest of this by deleting it. Just delete all this up until about there. And look at that. I already just made the little the little triangle show up. Move it down a little bit. So I just recreated um, a chat bubble for you. Or you can, like I said, steal one that you have. All right. So now, in this case, let's do some text. So switch to the text tool. You know, pick white. All right. And... Uh, let's start by, in my case, I have to write a particular um, kind of chat here. So I'm going to write, um, hey, this is Kristen, and let's move it up. Let's make sure we match the right font size we want. In my case, it's going to be Helvetica New Light, and I want it to be smaller, and that's too small. So here's what I'm going to do. Put it right next to the other one to make sure I can match it. Okay. Looks like it's around 18, 20, 19. It's getting closer, not close enough, but it's pretty damn close. So I'm going to call it uh, 18. Let's see. That's pretty good right there. So, hey, this is Kristen. sure what happened to my text here kind of just died on me hey this is Kristen your first Amor you can send okay you can send oops selected the wrong thing you can send text messages photos videos phone call or video call okay and let's bring the level of spacing down obviously perfect oh well, let's make it a little less actually bring it in a little more okay I want to replace this bubble up here 
with mine. And the best way, obviously, is to just delete what's behind there. Okay. There we go. So we have my first chat bubble in there. Now, let's say you want to, you know, change the color of the text. That's obviously really easy. You just click on the text, you know, and pick another, another color, any color you want. That's easy to do. Okay. And in order to show the difference between the screens, um, you can just show one with white, duplicate this whole folder, and then change the color of the chat. You can change the chat um, color of the bubble, the, the color I can make it, for example, I can make it this color, and it's automatically different. Change the color of that shape. So changing colors is actually one of the easiest things to do in Photoshop, um, as you see here. So the next one I'm going to do is I'm going to show this one. And instead of showing a blank avatar, I'm going to show an actual photo. So let's put this in here. Okay. And this time, I don't really need to change this bubble because um, it's pretty much what I need already. And I already have a photo over here that I put in here. So I'm going to go into um, chats and take this pick and I'm going to duplicate the pick. Okay. And I'm going to put this into a more. Okay. And I'm going to drag it over. Oop, I'm going to drag over the pick copy. I'm going to make sure it's on top. And I'm going to put it over here. Okay. And I'm going to just make sure it matches the size by scaling it just like that. Okay. Um, so then I'll add another, another, uh, another message. So I'm going to copy these layers. I'm going to move them down here. And I actually noticed that I need this date. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take these shapes. Well, no, I'm just going to copy these. And I'm going to put a group within a group. So this is going to be chat bubble. You can group inside of a group. So basically, this group has another group in it. See how they all go away? But I can now just get rid of this one group. So I'm going to copy the chat bubble and I'm going to call this one second chat. I'm going to move it down here. And this time I'm going to say, you can click on a photo someone sends you to view it full screen and even save it. Okay, so I just added a second message. And then I'm going to add a video. So now I'm going to go into um, pick copy. This is layer six. So let's put these together. Okay. So let's put these into a group called photo. Okay. And now I'm going to copy this and call it video. Move it down. Okay, now on this one, I'm going to change the picture. Okay, I'm going to add a different photo that I have of Kristen. And let's see, uh, I have this one here. So I'm going to take this photo of Kristen. Okay, and I'm going to scale it so it matches the same size. Or about the same size. Okay, and I'm going to delete this picture. And now I'm going to add a video icon, like a play button, on top of the thumbnail to show that you can actually hit play. Um, I'm pretty sure I have a play button already in my um, in my files here. I'm just looking for it. Uh, video recording, camera swap. Profile interaction, selection, sign up. And where do I have that? I'm trying to think of where. Oh, yeah, uh, manage videos. Here we go. So I'll put this in here. You can select any button you have. Okay, I'm going to put it right in there on top. Perfect. And then I can just change the color of this um, to, you know, 
the gray color that I had originally, or I can actually make it dark and then bring the opacity level down. Nope. Opacity level down here. You know, to kind of show that it's there, but it's, you know, you get the idea. And then I can put another third chat and put that underneath. You can click on a video someone sends you. Click on the video above to watch my... Click on the thumbnail above or the icon. The th yeah, the video above to, to watch my... And I messed that up, so do that again. Click on the video thumbnail above to watch my intro or no my video message to you okay so now I have the beginnings of what looks like the introductory videos I don't need this chat screen anymore um, so that means I can basically delete this and the person who emailed me on YouTube also asked me how to pull up this key a keyboard so if somebody sends me a message how do I do that so let me save this first because I don't really need the keyboard in my mock-up but I'm gonna do it for him anyway you can do this in a number of different ways you can take a screenshot of one of your uh, of your iPhone which is my preference is taking a screenshot of an app um, and I'm gonna do it right now and send it over I'm pretty sure I already even have one somewhere so um, I'll just double check and see yeah, I already have one here. So I'm going to just basically take this image. Okay, and I'm going to copy um, this. I suggest you do the same thing. Just copy the keyboard and just paste it on top where you want it to show up. That's really the easiest way to do this. You don't have to, um, you don't have to like recreate. As they say, don't recreate something. Just, you know, use it. So that shows you how you can put your keyboard on top of um, the chat screen. And, and what I would do once again is I would show um, this screen first, then I would show the same, I would duplicate um, the Amore screen, so duplicate this entire Amore screen twice, and then show the second one over here where this is one without the keyboard and this is one with the keyboard. Um, that's the easiest way to do this. Um, but I think that's pretty much everything um, the YouTube subscriber asked me. Um, and this should pretty much sum it up for you. How to create chat bubbles, how to create the text in the chat bubbles, how to create images and icons, how to change the color. And that should tell you how to create a chat screen. So thanks for watching this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned something. If there's ever any tutorial that you want me to create in the future, leave a comment to let me know what it is or you can email me, me at jasonsherman.org. And you can also check out my other tutorials, howto.jasonsherman.org. I'll see you in the next one.